Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Samster Games, Samantha Play Strategy Games. Today we're going to be talking about the Barricade build. The Barricade build is a build oriented around the Barricade card, which is a rare card that costs 3 energy to if it is upgraded. And the effect is that the block no longer removes at the start of your turn. So, you have a certain block, like 20 for example, the enemy hits you for 12, and then you have 8 left over and it's gonna stay there for the next turn. Okay, so, usually you can get the barricade card at the end of the first act, after the boss fight. Okay, so now that you have the barricade card, what cards should you pick with it? So obviously you wanna pick defensive cards, because you wanna build up your block, so things like power through, impervious, Flame Barrier. Flame Barrier is a little bit more expensive as it costs 2 energy. Shrug it off then. And you want to pick one card and this card is essentially which makes the build so much more satisfying to play, so much better. It's what gives you the attack and it's called Body Slam. It costs 1 energy and it attacks the enemy for the exact same amount as your block. So if you have a block of 20, you can attack the enemy for 20. Upgraded it actually costs 0, which is absolutely amazing for a barricade build because you can use all your energy for defense. Then you use body slam to do the damage. It's actually possible to play a barricade build without body slam, but it's so much slower and a lot less fun because it's going to take you a long time. So I'm going to be playing two different videos. One of them is actually with the body slam and the other one is a slight modification and in this modification I actually don't have body slam even though it would be useful even then. There is another very very useful card for a barricade build and it's Entrench. It costs 2 energy unupgraded, 1 upgraded and it doubles your block and that's again it's absolutely essential for a barricade build because if you can get a block like, I don't know, 20, 25 in that one turn, and then use entrance to double it, you're immediately at 50 and it's just, it's so powerful. Another good card is Iron Wave because it lets you both block, which is what you want, and it gives you some attack. And then there are interesting power cards that you would like to combine with a Barricade Metallicize because it gives you a block at the end of your turn, usually three or four, every turn. So if you can get this fairly early in the combat. In barricade the combats take longer so it can be maybe five or even eight turns. Till the end of the combat you're getting an additional five times four block which is 20. Another interesting power card is Juggernaut. It actually costs two, two energy so it's quite expensive because you're not able to use two defensive cards but what it does is that every time you gain block it deals damage to an enemy. This can be a very good way, especially if you don't have body slam, this can be a great way to deal some damage to the enemy because you really want to focus on defense and this lets you kind of hurt the enemy while you're building up your block. But if you have body slam, Juggernaut is not really necessary. Okay, so now that we know what cards we should pick, what is the actual strategy? How should we play? Well, what you want to do is you want to defend. Essentially, you want to defend all the time because you want to build up your block. Important point with Fire Barricade is that you don't need to wait. For example, if you have a card like Impervious, usually you kind of keep it until the enemy is doing a big attack and then you use the defense. You don't need to wait here, so use your cards as soon as they show up. Especially like the Exhaust cards, because there's like no need to wait. And um, that way your deck is going to be smaller and then you can quicker like cycle through it to get cards like Entrench and Body Slam and things like that. So don't wait, uh, use your cards as much as you can. If you're using cards like Entrench, which every time you get um, the Entrench card essentially you want to use it unless you have like a block of 3 or 5 or like nothing, then obviously you don't need to use it. But if you have a block of like at least, I don't know, 15, 20, even 10, you want to use it. Uh, keep in mind that you should use all the defensive cards before the entrance so that you can double that as well. Like if you have 20 at the start of your turn, you don't use entrance now. First use thing like Shrug it off so that you can double the defense that Shrug it off gives you as well. So use entrance at the end of your turn. Body slam, again use it at the end of your turn so that you have the highest block you can. 
and that's what you use for attack. You should always upgrade your body slam cards as soon as possible and you should always upgrade your barricade card because it only costs two energy so that you can use the barricade and get some block at the same turn. So always upgrade these things. If you don't have body slam, you're going to attack with regular cards or maybe with some powers like Juggernaut like we talked about. It makes the game very very slow because what you have to do is you have to use I guess many turns at the start can be even like 10 turns sometimes to build up so that you can get especially with the entrance so that you can get block like 100 or 200 or something like that and then you're using your attacking cards to fight but uh, like I said it takes very it's very slow so right now I want to talk about the modification of the barricade build I call it an exhaust build and this is essentially a combination of cards. It's a combination of power through and some exhaust card. In the video that you're watching, I'm using a second win, which is a card that exhausts all non-attacking cards and gives me some block for them. And the way you want to play is you want to use power through, which gives you a block and then gives you two wounds. And then you want to use something exhausting like second win to exhaust these wounds. And the second win actually gives you a block even just for exhausting, but usually you want to use feel no pain. And that's what actually gives you the block, like Feel No Pain gives you a block for each exhausted card, something like 3 or 4. And uh, so you're using the power tree to get a block of like 20 if it's upgraded. You get these two wounds and you use Second Win to exhaust these two wounds and Feel No Pain gives you 4 block for each, so that's a plus 8 block. And the Second Win sometimes gives you extra block. If you don't have Second Win, you can use other exhausting cards that don't exhaust themselves because you want to use this many times within your combat so fiend fire is no good but other exhausting cards can be great or you can even use a relic medical kit medical kit lets you play status cards and then it exhausts them so you can play power to use medical kit to exhaust them and then feel no pain gives you the block and don't be afraid to even take two or three fear no feel no pain cards if you're using this modification a fantastic relic is charon ashes because it is deals damage every time you exhaust the card so then you would be able to do incredible damage as well. And generally, like, exhaust can be a good combination with the barricade build. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the weaknesses of the barricade build. So the first and kind of the main weakness, I would say, is that... And this is the same for every build that's focused on, like, one main power card. Is that if, if you don't get the barricade card, fast enough within your uh, combat, like if you don't get it in, at the first or second turn because then the enemy can do a lot of damage as you're not able to build up your defense and then when they do these big attacks you just can't defend yourself. It can take a while to build up because like I said it's a defensive build, it takes a long time, you're not actually hurting the enemy so all the attacks that they do they will do. It's not like in an offensive build where you, where you are able to kill them within the second or third turn. You're gonna be playing a long combat. Then once you have a good enough block you're gonna be able to kill them with body slam if you have it. But if you don't then it's gonna take a long time. And there's a one enemy that I feel like is sort of created to destroy barricade builds and that's the transient. If you're playing on Ascension 5 like I am in the video then his first attack is 40, which is already fairly high, so it's going to be quite tough to defend against that. Because the way you fight a transient enemy is that you can use attacking cards, and every time you hit him, you lower his strength by, by that exact amount. For example, if you do an attack for like 15, he's going to hit you for 15 less. And we have a lot of attacking cards that do damage, like 20 and stuff like that. But we don't have that many defensive cards that give you such a high defense, so... The problem can often be that you just can't defend high enough, like maybe even the attack of 30 you can handle, but the next time he's doing 40 and then 50, 60, 70, 80, so he's scaling up so quickly that even if you use the barricade card, you do not have much leftover block or any of leftover block towards the next turn, so it can be quite tough. If you have body slam, it can help quite a lot because you can get a defense of like 15, 20, then you can hit him for 20, so he's gonna hit you for 20 less. If you're playing the exhaust barricade build or you don't have many body slam cards or you just have a bad draw where you just have like even just one turn without any body slam card, you're gonna lose a lot of HP. Okay, what are some relics? 
that are good for barricade builds. First of all, Bottle Tornado, because it allows you to get a power card at the beginning of your combat, which obviously is barricade. Yeah, it lets you play the barricade at the start of your combat, which is very powerful, especially because a lot of enemies don't attack at the starting turn, so you can use that to kind of build up your beginning block. Then you would like any relic that utilizes the fact that you're playing three skills per turn, because you almost al always play three skills per turn as you are defending. So relics that if you either gives you dexterity or do damage or give you block anytime you use three, three skills, any relic like that is worth a buy. Another interesting relic is Anchor. It gives you 10 block at the start of your combat. That can be good, especially if you have the better tornado, because these, this 10 block will remain if you can get barricade on the first turn. Now, I want to talk about two relics that seem like great for barricade build, but actually aren't, and that's Oricalcum and Self-Forming Glade. They sound great, right? They give you a block, so you want to buy them if you have barricade build. You shouldn't do that. The reason is Oricalcum becomes essentially useless in a barricade build, because you should at almost every turn have some block left over. That's why you're playing Barricade Build, because you are blocking enough so that the enemy can actually hurt you. So Oricalcum is not going to do anything. Self-Forming Clay is the same. It gives you a block next turn if you got hit this turn. And, well, in a Barricade Build you're hoping that you don't get hit at all, or you get hit like once or twice to, during the combat. So, again, it becomes useless. So these uh, relics that actually sound like they're good for defensive build, they're actually great for offensive builds. Like, in a demon form build, that's where you want to buy one of them, not in Barricade build. If you're using the exhaust modification, then any kind of relic that does something with exhaustion, like chair and ashes, medical kit is good so that you can play status card, even a uh, blue candle can be good so that you can play some curses, exhaust them and get some defense from that. Okay, so what is kind of my review, my look on the Barricade build? Again, just like with the demon form build, this is a fairly basic build, like this is what you use the first time you win when you even don't know how to play the game. It can sometimes be very slow, especially if you don't have the body slam, but it's a very good build. I feel like having a good barricade build should essentially guarantee you a win, especially if you're playing on like no ascension or because it's a very solid build, it gives you a lot of protection, a lot of block, so you shouldn't lose too much HP, so you should go into your combat's fairly healthy. The only like big problem with the enemy is the transient and um, you can have some trouble also with the double or walkers because they scale up. So it can be quite tough to defeat them as well but if you have something like body slam and you can get a defense of 30 at the start of your turn then you can smash them fairly quickly. With the exhaust build it would probably be a bit rough to fight against them. I would say that Barricade build is very nice, It's I like it, it's fairly slow because you're focusing on defense. It's not as satisfying as a demon form build, but um, it's a very solid build. Okay, thank you so much for watching, tell me what you think about the Barricade build, how do you like it, how would you compare it for example with the demon form build or other builds that you like, and um, if you like this video, please subscribe, because there will be more Archetype Builds videos and more tips on how to play Slate Aspire. And fairly soon I will also start be playing a new game, so stay tuned for that. Bye bye!